everybody and welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is gray square and you are tuned into my nikki mom tag before we get into the tag i just wanted to shout out maxwell house coffee i will have this latte this is the vanilla caramel latte i will have it linked below y'all for that container we're able to make nine lattes or fraps or iced coffee for for three dollars for that container and they have nine servings so if you are someone who needs your morning fuel your afternoon fuel definitely check them out now on to the nikki mom tag for those who don't know me my name is grace square um my daughter was born at 29 weeks she was i'll have more information with the questions on her but um yeah so i've been seeing this tag floating around and i have a new i have some new followers on instagram and i'll have her instagram here because i'm definitely putting more content on my daughter's um instagram because it's more like mommy related stuff that i've been really into and I came across this preemie Nikki mom tag and I felt like it was perfect to put out there so y'all can get to know me and my journey a little more. Down the questions because I'm actually filming on my phone. So the first question is, when was your original due date and when did your baby arrive? So my original due date was August 5th, 2019 and my daughter was born May 24th, 2019. So pretty much three months premature. The second question is, what was your baby's height and weight? She was two pounds and eight ounces, and she was 18 inches. And now she is 24 pounds and 31 inches. It's crazy how much they can grow in 15 months. How was your pregnancy? And did you have any medical complications? So my pregnancy was pretty rough, not in the sense of morning sickness or pain. I just, um, because I have had multiple miscarriages, and side note, if you want to see my miscarriage story, I will link that below because my pregnancy journeys have been quite the journeys. Um, so because I've had multiple miscarriages, I was pretty much paranoid my entire pregnancy. Anytime I, I, I think I was spotting heavily at 10 weeks, I didn't take a chance. I went to the ER and then at 17 weeks, I was in an accident, a car accident, and I went back to ER and that's how I know my daughter's so strong. She's survived it all. So around 25 weeks, I started noticing that I was leaking and I literally thought that I um, just like you know when you're pregnant you sneeze you might tinkle a little bit I know it's TMI but also um, I just didn't think that your water can rupture so early so at 26 weeks my water ruptured and I stayed in the hospital for three weeks on bed rest until I delivered Olivia at 29 weeks question is how much time did your baby spend in the NICU she was in the NICU for 67 days which was a roller coaster of emotions the next question is how was labor delivery and recovery so labor was intense I got to seven centimeters dilated and because the doctor could Feel her feet because she was breached um, they had to do an emergency c-section and if you're interested in my birth story I will also have that linked below and um, recovery delivery wasn't too bad I have I go more into details of my birth story so if you're interested definitely click that and recovery I felt like after I gave birth I just had so much energy I was so excited I was so worried I literally had every emotion running through my head that I didn't even sleep so I didn't even I didn't even realize that I was in pain they gave me medication the only thing that I'd say was really hard during recovery is when you um one taking a bath two when they take the catheter out in the toilet and there's the blood clot or something that I passed this big and it just looks like red I know this is TMI just like a clump of blood and I press uh, and I told my husband to press the button to call the nurse and she came up and she's just like oh it's natural y'all I was like freaking out I was like was this another baby it was crazy 
So the next question is, how was life at home after birth? I just posted about this on Olivia's Instagram, um, talking about the day at the night that we got released. Um, it was really hard when your baby is attached to monitors for 67 days. You feel so safe. You feel that you know what is going on. You know if there's trouble. So the first night we were just like, we didn't know what to do. She wasn't eating. She wasn't using the bathroom she as small as she was she could tell that she was in a new environment we lived in a beach city where it was quiet you could like hear the waves at night the if you have ever stepped foot in the NICU you know how loud it is how noisy it is so I think she just couldn't adjust and she wasn't comfortable my husband and I did not get any sleep that night the nurse was amazing. Obviously, they told us you can't bring your baby back to the NICU, which <laughs> we were just so nervous, y'all. And she kept checking on us. The nurse kept calling us throughout the night, checking on Olivia. So we survived, and we're still surviving. <laughs> Does your preemie have any medical conditions? So luckily, the only thing Olivia had was um, jaundice, which is really, really common with babies you had to stay under the blue light i cannot think of what it's called but um i'll have a picture of her under the blue light here i can honestly say we were extremely blessed that she had nothing wrong with her the only thing is that she was born early and she was born tiny so she had to learn how to eat she had to learn how to breathe on her own um a couple of times with x-rays her lungs were a little clouded but it was nothing that was you know a medical problem she was able to her lungs were able to develop with time with you know with assistance in breathing and oxygen so thank thank god that olivia had no complications so the next question is what is your favorite thing about your preemie i'm gonna try not to get emotional so many things that I'm so proud of her for. I said I'm not gonna get emotional, but um, I think I'm gonna stick to one thing, and one word I would say is resilient. After everything she went through, she, from like the beginning of my pregnancy, the car accident, just everything, she's just so strong, and I just admire her. I'm like in awe. Y'all, I said I wasn't gonna cry video but I'm just so in awe of her strength as tiny as she is you know that for preemies they say tiny but mighty and she just she just kicked the NICU's butt and I'm forever proud of her but um we always just like she's just like a little alien baby like she just is so advanced she started walking when she was like eight months corrected was crawling at four months corrected in the NICU as tiny as she was she was able to lift up her head and that kind of like <laughs> not freaked us out but we're like oh my god you're just like she's not like pre like she's premature but she's not behind like she is like no I'm 15 months I'm hitting these milestones like she's not behind I will never say that my daughter's behind on anything so okay number nine two more questions guys if you have stuck through this many questions thank you so much <laughs> what was the hardest part about what is and what was the hardest part about being a preemie mommy i feel like never being able to breathe as healthy as olivia is i'm still super paranoid i'm super paranoid about her getting sick you know, like COVID or RSV, which is coming. I don't know how a, a disease would, how her body would handle or react to a serious disease or an illness. So it's still always like, you know, until she falls off the preemie charts, until she grows a little more, I feel like I'll be able to breathe. I think the toughest part is not, you know, letting go of the trauma the trauma and that makes me always think of you know what if she does get sick I don't ever want her to ever go back to the hospital again so so 
The last question, number 10, is share a current update about your preemie. If I have to pick one, I don't know y'all, she's like, I don't know, there's just so many. So right now she's 15, she actually, by the time this video is out, no, she's not gonna be 15 months. On the 24th of August, she'll be 15 months and 12 corrected. Um, she, you know, she's walking, she's running, she's talking, but I think I like right now, my favorite thing is that she's learning like cause and effect. And she's also learning how to answer questions. Like we'll ask her how old she is and she'll go one and then we'll be like, where is teddy bear and she'll know like exactly what we mean and she'll come and bring it to us it's just like she's learning to communicate so well so that is all the nikki mom tag or preemie mom tag questions so thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to follow olivia's life daily make sure you follow my instagram well her instagram our instagram <laughs> live like live i will have that linked below and make sure you subscribe i am planning i am i'm coming back y'all i have so much content i am getting in the swing of things so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell later